His name was Geralt of Rivia. He was a witcher, a professional monster slayer. An unusual contract to lift the curse that held a monarch's daughter. You stink like slime. On the Witcher said to the genie, What? Daddy will buy me a new doll. How sweet. Armed as you are, I stay clear of the guards. <laughs> what am I to do? Children away! Turn them into witches! Those swords just for show. Are you ill? You're so good with Alvin. Listen, I've found us some allies. Tend to any unfinished business in Vizima, and prepare. Afterwards it may be too late. I'm ready. Let's meet at the new Nara Court. I'll inform the interested parties. How do you know who? I'm a sorceress, remember? And you think so loud, I can't help reading your mind. Redeemed. We'll visit Vizima. I must Why acquire an invitation to Luvarden's next banquet. Your 
in danger. What? Why? The militia learned of your meetings. Salamandra has spies in the army. You must flee. No, I won't. I must speak to the others. The Salamanders will be here soon. Then I'll face them. You run. <laughs> you must think poorly of me if you believe I'd let you face them alone. I expected you'd stay and fight. My people are ready. They volunteered. Don't get yourself killed. If anything should happen to you, Carmen... ...will understand. City guards? How did you... You're not the only ones with informers in the army. Vincent, siding with the Witcher was foolish. You don't stand a chance. We'll see. This is your end. Maybe very well. White hair and one eye and one Out of the pan into the oven, then the fire, and now a witcher. What? The militia learned of your- No, the then I don't- Will on. Sit- You're not- Then- We'll see. You will die slow. <laughs> Love that overcomes a powerful curse. A fairy tale. In a world dominated by scorn and meanness, a world full of bandits and murderers, true love can still work wonders. Lost causes are worth a struggle. A fairy tale.
Geralt, we were waiting. Greetings. I was worried. Decided anything? The Order is apparently willing to cooperate. We will rid Vizima of this evil once and for all. Misunderstandings do arise between different members of the Order, but I take it we're clear about what we're doing. Misunderstandings? No matter. Apparently we're to be magically transferred somewhere. Triss will teleport you and Siegfried to the Salamandra base. You'll open the gates for the knights. When? Still needs deciding. Quiet. I hear footsteps. Was I followed? The door is locked. Open up in the name of King Foltest and the Flaming Rose! It's De Wet. Traitorous monk. A disgrace to our profession. I didn't foresee this problem. Siegfried! I know you're associating with that witch! You're finished! Triss, can you transfer us now? Is that wise? This may be our only chance. Akimbaga Hara! I knew this knight would turn to soup while being teleported. I'm counting to three! You're screwed, Siegfried! Soup? Maybe, uh... Dark Ambra Der Hadrin! Where the hell am I? Triss overdid it this time. Although, better here than the middle of some banquet. Challenge the Salamander! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
There's no time to lose. Siegfried? Open the gate and let the order inside. Where's Triss? She stayed behind to deal with that lunatic DeWet. But she cast Alzur's shield before teleporting you. Alzur's shield? A powerful spell. From the book you found in the swamp. Strange. I don't recall giving it to her. Would you take on the entire base yourself? Any ideas? The Salamanders are using a magic portal to enter their base. Cursed elven magic. Can we use it? The Sorceress said it is activated by a magic stone. There is something of the sort in the cave, to the right. Nobody messes with Salaman, bro. Nobody! No time to lose. White Wolf, we've been expecting you. I see we're all here. Good. We can resolve this. Ha. Huh. I underestimated you in the swamp. But you won't surprise me now. Even Siegfried of Dinell would follow you into fire. All is aligning with the grand plan. Should you demonstrate wisdom, you'd see it realized. What if I refuse? Witches are simple and sentimental. Who are you fighting for? Voltest? A monarch with more sins on his conscience than Professor has words in his vocabulary. Voltest impregnated his own sister and let his offspring eat the city's inhabitants for years. Furthermore, during the war he allowed Nilfgaard to plunder and torch neighboring allied kingdoms. Your point? If not Voltest, then who? The Lodge of the Sorceresses? You know not what those bitches do to influence post-war treaties. The resettlements, deportations, the unresolved matter of the Scoia'tael, and others. Your dazzling conclusion? Salamandra is not evil. Not more than those with the will to shape their own fate. If Salamandra is not evil incarnate, then what of Javed? Immorality, rape, murder, treason. What would you call this creature? The future, evolution, or destiny? Screw that future. I'd rather fight a nightmare, even if it's hopeless. 
You won't surprise me this time. Now, die! How? Suppress your shield! Professor, tend to him! I have no counter speed! Javed crumbled in the swamp. He could easily have destroyed me and made off with the spellbook. He lost it. Fled. Alzur's shield worked beautifully. Javed ran, leaving the professor behind. I won't let him escape next time. Geralt! Are you well? What... happened? You got hit. Hard. The sorceress must have cast a protective spell. Alzur's shield. Professor escaped. And the barrier blocks our path. I'll find him. No doubt your life will end soon and how useless it's been. You'll die knowing you're an aberration. You're so full of shit, Professor. Why do you seek to prevent the creation of new witches? The answer's simple. You feel you have no rightful place in this world. You owe your existence to the conjunction of spheres. But your creators erred. Know how? Enlightened. They failed to strip you of emotion. You were meant to slay monsters without making judgments, philosophizing or nursing doubts. You're ineffective. Well, this ineffective, doubt-ridden historical freak is about to kill you. Let's dance. You've triumphed. Go ahead. Your invaluable witch's treasure awaits. You have what you wanted. Show mercy. Never hurts to ask. So you can parry arrows in flight.
supports. I could try toppling them to block the passage.
I could try toppling the blood of this Try toppling them to block the passage. If I buried this entire cave, the beast would not survive. The entire Salamander base will land on my head. should gut the Kikimor. If the Professor had any valuable information, it'll be in there.
this entire cave. This entire cave, the beast would never survive. Try toppling to block the passage.
I should gut the Kikimor. If the Professor had any valuable information, it'll be in there. I should have known you discover who was behind the counterfeit royal seals. I was wrong to see you merely as a monster slayer. The better you know me, the more impressive I become. Any chance you haven't deduced everything? Not much. I know you plan to stage a coup, assume power while your father is away. I also know you found an ally in Salamandra. My plans remain unchanged, and you won't stop me. I condemn you to death. Sentence to be carried out at once. Your Highness. Sorry, Anna. Geralt. The right of state never sleeps. As the condemned, I have the right to a last wish. One last kiss from you. A scandalous request. But the last wish is a sacred custom. So be it. You wish, Witcher. He has been spirited away! Someone will pay for this! out of that strange hole in the sky. Clever girl. Mother says I meddle. Perhaps. I know everything. Ask me. What is this place? This is the shore. Beyond lies murky waters and beyond that fields. By boat you can get to the island. You do know a lot. I know everything. Ask me. What's happened here recently? Alina, the village chief's daughter, will soon marry. For gold, Mother says. Right. Mother also says Alina's sister, Selina, yearns for Julian. He's Alina's fiancé who lives at the inn. What does yearn mean? She really likes Julian. Oh, then Julian yearns for Alina, Selina yearns for Julian, and Alina likes Julian's gold but yearns for Adam. Adults are stupid. Undeniably. I know everything. Ask me. I saw a city. 
The submerged city of an ancient race full of treasure and monsters. Now fish people live there. I fear them, but the one sitting by the statue of the lady seems jolly. I'm losing track. And I sometimes take fish to the sick and poor elves when the fisher king catches them. And on the island you can meet the lady. More beautiful than Alina. She yearns too. I'm completely lost. Stupid adults. How can you take care of us when you don't understand and you're always yearning? Do you know who I am? You have white hair, like every grandpa. You're ugly, but I like you. That's lucky. I know everything. Ask me. Is the shore safe? Yes. Sometimes those evil fish people creep out of the water and drive off the funny fishermen. I hide under the fisherman's hut. Clever. Of course. Take care. And I'm Geralt. Pleased to meet you. I don't speak your language. Your language I speak very well. Evidently. Let's talk. Kneel before lady. Speak easy. No kneel. Must be Dagonalanpatai. No speak. So I'm to pay tribute to the Lady of the Lake? Exact. All right. Got any work for someone skilled with a sword? Ngul, bull. Humans great enemies to Vodianoi. Hire Witcher Big for Vodianoi to kill. Witcher Big at Crypt. We love we humans, yet humans swim our waters. Did I hear you right, another Witcher? Gralol, exact. Disloving ghouls at Crypt. I need to speak to him. Farewell. What's Witcher in your language? Witch Malol Bull. Witch Malol? Witch Malol Bull. Bull must be. No, Bull means idiot. <laughs> All right, then I'm Witch Malol Bull. <laughs> yes, so you be. <laughs> Everything all right? Great sadness. No peace in house. I'm sorry to hear that. Oak, gold bullet. Farewell. Welcome, warrior. Greetings. If not for my woes, I'd rejoice in a swim with you. What concerns you? Let's talk. You mentioned woes. Terrible indeed. I lost my turquoise necklace as I swam in moonlight, a gift from the Lady of the Lake. Where did you swim? I usually bathe in the lake, yet that night I dared the river near the village. Sadly, the drowners abide there, led by Zephyr. Who's Zephyr? Once one of Vizima's most famous thieves. He moved as quietly as the wind. 
and quite handsome. And now? He once escaped to the sewers, but his loot proved too heavy. He joined the drowned dead, but old habits rarely die as easily. He still steals? Of course. Doubtless he stole my necklace. The drowners ever protect him. I'll search for your necklace. How wonderful! I have no gold with which to pay, but perhaps some trinkets could prove useful. It's a deal, then. I shall await you at the end of the beach, in an enchanting lagoon. How do I find Zephyr? If you slay enough drowners, he'll appear to discover the problem. Remember, drowners only venture out at night. Where do I find the drowners protecting Zephyr? They gather at night here on the shore. If you borrow a boat, you may reach the island where you'll find others. Some linger near the village. Who are you? A naiad. A water nymph. I serve the Lady of the Lake. Farewell. Where's my cat? I know. Take care. Greetings. You're the Fisher King, right? Mm hmm. Hmm. Well, I have a professional interest in the area. You see, I'm a witcher. Any monsters in the lake? Hmm. Benas? Dragonflies? Water creepers? No. Hmm. I see. The lake's safe. While we're talking. Hmm. Could I use your boat? <laughs> Take care.
Kedmi Greetings. When the chaos of war surrounds us, few care for beauty and harmony. I ensure that beauty remains in the world. I create customized objects. You're a craftsman? Craftsmen produce useful items. The beauty of my works could awaken the dead. There are quite a number of you here. We escaped from Vizima. The wounded and sick lie in the cave. If you'd like, speak with our leader, Teruvio. Any trouble from the inhabitants here? The Lady of the Lake reigns in this land. We're safe here, though I have heard of conflict with the Vodianoi. The Lady of the Lake? The goddess of this land. Listen to the bubbling waters, the whispering of the trees. Look at the waving grains, the smiling people. You'll sense it too. I think I get it. You'll understand when you meet her. Farewell. I haven't the strength to hunt. Geralt, I'm not surprised to see you. It's me, Chiridan. Recognize me? Chiridan? Apparently not. You were busy. It's been some time. True, Geralt. And see what's come of it. A mess, not assimilation. You work hard, you pay taxes, then come the pogroms. You flee as they torch your tavern. Hard times. Good you're here. Why are you here? Same as the rest, eating berries and dreaming of my place on Earth. Try doing something else. Guerrilla warfare can be dangerous. I've survived that. Humans prevented me from living as I wished to. Disdainful times. More bad luck round the corner. Farewell. Greetings, Geralt. Greetings, Alf. Have you forgotten me? Much time has passed since our encounter at the end of the world. I lost my memory. No matter. I am called Teruvial, and I am pleased to find you again. Me too. What brings you here? Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We're wounded and hungry. Negotiations with the peasants went poorly. Our dignity is all we have left. What can I do? You could buy fresh bread. Twenty orange should cover five loaves. I'll return soon. Yes? You mentioned we met... In Dol Blatana, the Valley of the Flowers. A most beautiful place. I granted Dandelion the lute he now plays. Meeting you changed me. I once hated humans without exception. Your words planted doubt. When the war brought all that hatred, I realized there was another way. I'm glad. As am I, Witcher. Farewell. I'm returning to the Blue Mountains. I feel death approaching. I'm so hungry.
Geralt. Dandelion. How did you get here? By teleport. Triss teleported me, too. It was amazing. I always wanted to see what it's like. She did that for you? Must be having an off day. So why did Triss teleport you here? Let's say she saved me from the kiss of death. Interesting. Perhaps I'll use it in my new ballad. In any case, what a truly delightful place. Triss said we should stay here until Princess Ada stops dreaming of slitting your throat. I have to agree. So, tell me about this place. In prose, if you don't mind. It's a charming area, thoroughly magical in its mood. The peasants seem altogether happy, while the peasant women are, uh... Hmm... Dandelion. Something specific? Well, there's gonna be a wedding. Alina, the village mayor's daughter, will marry Julian, a wealthy merchant from Kovir. Then there, the Vodianoi. Oh, Alina's taking care of Alvin. Our Alvin? Well, yes, unless he has a twin. Dandelion. Yes. Oh, I just remembered. Triss said you should watch him since others are after him. Or something like that. Anything else? I don't think so. Now to the tavern to meet some charming lass who'll get my spirits up. Fishermen refused to take me to Black Turn Island. Old age is no jest. Monster tales interest witches, yes? True. I'll share what I know of vampires. But first, have you something to eat? No. Strange. You don't speak like one from Rivia. Stay away from our Rosalcus, Witcher. Listen well. Beware Alps, horrid vampires with pin-sharp teeth. Quiet as cats, they creep up on you, then snap go their teeth. They slink into houses, oft appearing as a black dog, and suck sleepers' blood. One fends off Alps with impassioned faith. Sunlight turns them to ash. Alps also flee at the sight of virgins, though difficult to find these days. Interesting tale. Goodness! <laughs> Greetings again, Geralt. Greetings, Abigail. You found a new home. I was welcomed with open arms. Their own healer died last winter. If you like, I'll betray to you their greatest secret. You haven't changed a bit. I've developed a special ointment, drawing on the old healer's recipe. It makes their cow's coat shine. <laughs> In truth, I have changed. What brings you here? For I cannot believe you missed me. What do you... 
Why don't you live in the village? Witches live outside villages, as they always have. You must accept that. Abigail, remember the cave? The past is past, nothing more. Take care. Greeting. Hello. What be your moniker? Geralt of Rivia. Witcher. Lucky to have two witches visit us. Ha <laughs> ha! I, Tobias Hoffman, am the village chief. Ha <laughs> ha yourself. Beastie Beta, what brings you here? I wanted to talk to you about the Vodianoi. Julian's in charge of that business. Business? He fishes treasures from the lake, renovates them, and sends them to markets in Vesima. Any work for a witcher? A creature looking like a fish with legs appears by the lake. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a beast. It has huge teeth, resembles a dead mother-in-law. <laughs> Horrible, they say. Any reward for these creatures? Bring proof, and I'll be generous. Tell me more. About what? Any non-humans around here? Elves live on the shore. Pretty disagreeable lot. I thought to give them leftover food. They looked at me so cold I nearly froze. They're a strange bunch. Still, I've enough to do here in the village without worrying about them. I heard there's going to be a... Yes, my dear daughter Alina is marrying a gallant, hard-working and honest fellow. You know the joy that finding a good lad for your daughter brings? No? Thought not. Fighting is all your kind thinks about. That's not quite true, but... Listen, got any jobs for a witcher? There are more urgent matters. We'll need to discuss that another time. Any non-humans? L, there is... I see. There's also the fish people. A scourge on our lives. How so? They got vicious. Driving us away from the water, wounding some of us, and killing a few. Julian knows more. I'll have a talk with him. Beastie Beta? Farewell. Did the Lady of the Lake appear to you? She doesn't choose just anyone. Take a good look, Mr. Witcher. You're not likely to ever see another cow like this and... She is impressive. Look at that glistening coat! Her tail! And that hoodie! Mm-hmm. We plan to mate her with a champion bull from Bullsville. Hmm. That'll be something. A stock known round the world. No doubt. Ah, our strawberry is so beautiful. Later. She gives ten quarts of milk uh, daily. For a drink. Look here! A champion cow! <laughs> That's what I love Devil's work.
Greetings! Hello. How can I help the gentleman? Who might you be? Master Handyman, at your service. I handle repairs of all kinds, produce strange and non-standard objects, and I'm a capable creative blacksmith and carpenter. You're rather versatile. One has to survive, so I offer other services. Besides, I have an expensive hobby. A hobby? My kin and I yearn to build a flying machine. We built several already, but none worked. We had to cover the pilot's medical expenses. I see. Yes? Customer. Why so so? Rarely do any buy arms in murky waters. I'm no salesman like my father. Your father? My father told me to sell arms. But if no one buys... Oh, but better not to argue with father. Maybe he wanted you busy. Perhaps. I'm to sit quiet and sell to those who want to buy. I should try that. Good morning. Greetings. I'm Geralt the Witcher. Dandelion once sang a love ballad about a witcher. How heartwarming. Are witchers like knights, struggling against evil and villainy? Dandelion, I'm sure, described my profession realistically. The ballad was romantic. Lovers bound by destiny, unable to meet. Romantic indeed. I'm to marry soon. What brings you here? You taking care of Alvin? Yes. He has such beautiful big eyes. Mm-hmm. 
Sadly, my husband-to-be won't adopt Alvin. Can I speak to Alvin? Yes, he'll be in the village, or helping around the house. Farewell. Wait, I have a request. If you happen to pass by the inn, would you be kind enough to look in on my fiancé? And perhaps see if my sister Selena can be found anywhere. Your fiancé is spending time at the inn? We're not speaking. He's very irritated. We argued about Alvin. Arguing already? Julian wishes us to have our own children. He wants to send Alvin to the Temple of Melitella, or to be trained as a witcher. You'll find him at the tavern. I see. Treacherous vixen! Hi, Geralt. I have a new home. It's nicer than Vizima was. It's just that I missed you. You like it here? I do! Are we gonna kill monsters together? Alvin, fighting monsters is very dangerous. Promise you'll avoid it whenever possible. I promise. There are elves around here. One is really beautiful, but she argued with Mr. Tobias. Can we play kill the elf? Boy, I really need to talk to you and Alina. It's not Alina. All the kids play it. I'm always the Grand Master. We'll talk later. Greetings. I'm Adam. Geralt. I strive to compose a love poem for my beloved Alina. Ask Dandelion the poet. Supposedly he's pretty good. He said love would inspire me. He busies himself performing a diversionary maneuver. A maneuver? He's courting the miller's daughter to make Miss Arlene jealous. Clever, that one. Like a fox. Can I ask you something? Yes. You're in love with Alina? You know she's getting married. I love her secretly, so you must be discreet. And marriage is never an obstruction to true love. Bye. I need a rest. Yeah. Any elves? They camp nearby, but look like nothing from epic poetry. Ill and starving. Many have perished. Are they peaceful? Entirely. Mr. Tobias sought to help him, but the she-elf leader refused human charity. Typical elves. Farewell. Yeah. How's your poem? Oh, oh, ahem. <clears throat> your hands fine and slender, your hips big and tender, all night and all day, spin my head a painful way. Enough. Speak no more. Yes. Bye. Somehow I can't forget the maiden on the lakeside. Noonwraiths? Nonsense. Do witchers? Yes. I'm desperate for a boy's attention. Have you perfume? I'm not a walking perfumery. I know you can make perfumes. I'd gladly pay you 50 orins. I have no perfume. How malicious! Clearly. Peaceful coexistence with witchers is impossible. I know exactly what you're thinking.
I'm pleased to meet the famous White Wolf. I'll speak plainly. I like what I see and want to get to know you. How nice. I'm no easy lass, though. You understand a gentleman must court a lady, am I right? You are. Now that we know each other better, you should take the initiative and bring me something sweet. Stupid. I'm sorry. Somehow I can't forget the maiden on the lakeside. Come Did the lady of the lake appear? No signs of a wedding. I hope the elves leave this place as soon as possible. City and the God of the Deep. You'll only bring trouble. Oh, for a son as handsome as Alvin. Good morning, Witcher. Greetings. You look sad. My sister will wed a man she doesn't like. I have not to wear to the wedding, for our father expended his savings on his beloved daughter's dowry. Furthermore, it's hot as hell. But all goes well otherwise. Doesn't sound good. May I ask a question? Yes. Is your sister happy about getting married? She's happy. She has no concern for her younger sister. Elena doesn't deserve happiness. Oh, how I hate that nymphette! Now she's ensnared Julian, a wealthy town merchant, while she wanders about with her nose in the clouds. Don't worry. You'll find a good husband. Better than Julian? Not, woe I suffer for the masses, Adam. How pathetic. Or perhaps you mean the hermit? Such are my options. Did you see the engagement ring Julian gave Alina? A diamond larger than a pigeon's egg! Calm yourself. Why take her side? Admit it, she's dazzled you. Oh, how I despise her! She'll not have you. I'll give myself to you right now on the nearest rock. You merely need to give me a nicer ring than the one Julian gave Alina. I have the ring. Show me.
that's the ring? So be it. I'll show Alina I can have any man. But... Kiss me. All right. Carol, is that you? How are things? I found Alvin. Alvin? Wait a minute. Triss wanted me to do something, hammered it into my head for an hour. Oh yeah, I have a dimeridium amulet for him. Dandelion, I can't trust you to do anything. Is that so? Well, I just remembered I had a package for you. A package? I don't know, something. But I might have lost it. Quit pouting, Dandelion. What do you have for me? Fine. I have a letter to you from your lover. Triss, hand it over. In, traveler greetings if you're weary rest if you wish food or drink call my daughter I will make yourself at home thanks may I help you I have questions ask traveler what's special about this settlement murky waters we live in seclusion Tobias Hoffman leads us know too that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city tell me about Tobias he lives in the village but prepares for a wedding, so likely has no time. I'll talk to him anyway. If he's occupied, try speaking with his future son-in-law, Julian. Thanks for the advice. May I help you? I have questions. Ask, Traveller. What's special about this settlement? Murky waters. We live in seclusion. Tobias Hoffman leads us. Know, too, that our ancestors once inhabited the underwater city. The underwater city? Lake waters engulfed the underwater city. Some say the gods were angered by debauchery. Now the Vodianoi inhabit the city. Did I sense pride? We glory in our ancient heritage, just as we take pride in our prize-winning cow. As for our ancestors' bad habits, much has changed since then. Prize-winning cow? She's in the corral between the houses. Our pride and joy. She's made Murky Waters famous. Thanks for the story. May I help you? Farewell. Great spacious tavern. What? You think everything's small in the country? I meant no offense. How can I help? 
Where's the village mayor? There's a large hut in the village where the mayor spends his time. But he lives in another large hut. So... I'll find it. How can I help? Any interesting news? Oh, wedding, that's what. The mayor's daughter, Elena, is marrying a townsman called Julian. He's staying here at my inn. One thing. Yes? Yes? You must not. Sure! I'm an innkeeper! <clears throat> Long ago, in a valley far away, lived a girl. She was a true princess, sorceress, and witcheress. All three? Isn't that a bit much? Don't interrupt! You want to hear the story or not? I won't interrupt again. A story about destiny might prove useful, witcher! She was born a princess who wanted for nothing, had loving parents and a grandmother who was a great queen. She lived in palaces guarded by hundreds of knights. Everyone thought she'd become a powerful queen, but fate had other plans. Her parents died. Enemies butchered her grandmother and took the kingdom. Still, the princess survived. Her fate became bound to one particular witcher. She gained a new family at Caer Moran, the hold of the witches. She learned to fight, yet destiny once again made noise. The lass had magical talent. She was a source. The witches feared the uncontrolled power of a source and needed a sorceress to assist them. She studied arcane magic. The sorceress loved a witcher and the two adopted the girl. She was truly happy and could have become a powerful sorceress. But war broke out and fate separated the family. Aggrieved, the lass disavowed magic and became a huntress, learning to love killing. Death followed her. Everyone she'd loved had died. Only the witcher and the sorceress denied death's calling. Fate cast her to foreign shores, yet she returned. The worst assassin tailed her, yet she emerged victorious. Agents of all kingdoms pursued her, yet none caught her. When she killed all her enemies and peace descended upon the world, she rejoined the Witcher and Sorceress, only to have destiny sneer at her again. What happened? A peasant, unskilled in arms, killed the Witcher. The Sorceress died trying to revive him, the girl could do nothing, for she disavowed magic. So the princess who would not rule, the witcheress who fought humans, and the sorceress who cast no spells used her power as a means to leave this world. I sense you haven't told all. All but one. Her name was Cyrilla. What's that matter? Farewell. How can I Two innkeepers? Mama and Papa own the inn. Mama won't let me speak to strangers. As a waitress, you have to talk to strangers. Not tr true. Only regulars visit our inn. Got you there. I'm a stranger. You're Geralt of Rivia. Master Dandelion sang a ballad about you, so I know you. Got me there. How can I help? An honest woman, that innkeeper. Stay away from our results, Witcher.
Greetings, Witcher. I've heard a lot of good things about your kind. That's rare. Usually people treat me like a leper. Not in my house. When I was a child, I heard many tales of a Witcher who saved my grandfather's life in exchange for a silver penny. That must have been a while back. I'm Geralt. Oh, yes. In the olden days. I'm Julian. It's a pleasure. Tell me the story of your grandfather. Grandfather, may Melitelli watch over his soul, had a plot of land. A piece of a rocky, frozen valley in northern Kovir, and a deserted coal mine with no coal. Grandfather always said that a treasure was concealed in the valley. He worked hard every year to discover that treasure. Initially, many gladly took the jobs he offered and helped. But soon it became clear that Grandfather had gone mad, that there was no treasure. When he was 47, had rheumatism and a collection of bobolac scalps above his mantle, he was overcome with grief and went outside. He began cursing the heavens, berating all the known gods in the foulest language he knew. The gods answered. There was a terrible rumble and an avalanche descended on the valley. Grandfather regained consciousness, burrowed out of the snow and looked around to see something that would change his life. The entire valley was glimmering strangely, glimmering so beautifully that he nearly didn't see the beast coming towards him with a heavy gait. Grandfather fled, bending over once to pick up a strangely glimmering stone. In short, he escaped. Descending from the mountains, he encountered a witcher who agreed to slay the monster in exchange for a silver penny. They returned to the valley and the witcher slew the beast. He could not help noticing the wealth laying in that valley, yet he demanded nothing beyond the penny promised him earlier. Grandfather grew to trust him and knew that sooner or later someone or something would come along and want to take his treasure, for the treasure in the valley was immense, Geralt diamond deposits that took years to extract. They became partners. The Witcher watched the workers, killed monsters, drove off bandits, and Grandfather managed the business. He's a legend in Kovir, and my family is wealthy and respected. That's the whole story. What's up? Soon I'll marry the village mayor's daughter, Alina. We're planning our wedding as we speak. I wanted to ask about Alvin. He needs a caretaker who is knowledgeable about magic. And neither I nor my future spouse are suited to be his guardian. I see. You should train him to be a witcher. You know not what you ask. For the time being, I'll keep an eye on him. Geralt? Get out.
Get up. What a day. Your mother. I heard you beat Butterbean and Fat Fred. And Gablada. I'm looking for a worthy opponent. Then welcome. They call me The Rock. Sounds ominous. Wanna fight a real champion? What's the wager? 500 orins. I'm in. into it challenges who wants to get slapped into it soon. It wants to get slapped. Seems I have no worthy successors. We'll see about that. Return tomorrow and lose another 500 orins. Oh. No! Oh. No! Oh. No! No! Who wants to get slapped? Great! No way, not me! Women.
Are you... I saw Julian and Selena together, but don't get Ben out of shape. Selena's starved for attention. Julian didn't seem really interested. Selena can be unbearable, but she'll change if she marries. And Julian, well, he loves me, and no argument can change that. I merely wanted to be sure Julian was well, without him knowing or thinking I was concerned. Thank you, Witcher. Ah, uh, women. Why do you... Has Alvin... He told some terrible stories. I thought him delirious. What did he say? Something about ghosts condemned to suffer eternally by unrequited love. It was so... Romantic, I know. I'll find him. Why do you seek me? I'm looking for Alvin. If he's not in the village, check the fairy tale ruins nearby. Thanks.
definitely should. Greetings, sir. Never mind the sir. I'm Geralt. Tis a true honor. Geralt. How are you with the bow? Best in the village. I can hit an apple at 50 paces. Great. Yes? Don't you want to be a builder like your father? Not really. When my father refurbished our hut, the doors wouldn't close. The stairs are such that even the cat fears them, and when it rains... I see. Besides, I prefer to use my bow. One day, I'll enter a tournament in Vizima. Good luck. Yes? Farewell. Greetings. You'll not get any further. The bridge is destroyed. It doesn't look uncrossable. Well, there's just forests and meadows over there. Thanks for the warning. Need a witcher? You're a witcher? Yes. Sir? Need a witcher? My life's work stands at the edge of oblivion. You alone can help. What's the problem? I had a dream. The river ghosts begged me for assistance. Me, a humble servant of the Lady of the Lake. A lifetime's chance to show my devotion. Hmm, sure. The old bridge I tended fell into ruin, yet the ghosts remained attached to it. They asked me to restore it to order. How can I help? What my son and I erect in daytime is destroyed each night. I'll wager it's damnable Griggs. My help will cost you. Do you wish 400 orans, or a book about spectres and the King of the Wild Hunt? Or you can have my son's help during dangerous excursions. He's an excellent archer. Let's trade. Visit the old wench in the village. Beware, she's a witch, but she may know some means of driving off Griggs. All right. So Why do you think the Griggs are your troublemakers? I witnessed Griggs gallivanting about the divine statue by the bridge. They see the bridge as their territory. How about talking to them? Even if I could ward off the night demons, it would be pointless. Griggs don't speak with humans.
What do you want? Harn the Mason sent me. That good for nothing. He sealed my chimney, and ever since it's either cold as winter or foggy as fall in here. I wager work on the bridge isn't progressing. Exactly. Why would he need a witcher and witch? At night, Griggs destroy the bridge Harn must then repair in daytime. Unruly Griggs indeed. Doubtless he tried to avenge himself and they've taken offense. Any way to help them reconcile? Recover their treasure. Treasure? Another tribe of Griggs inhabits the crypt in the fields. Evil sort. This tribe stole the greatest treasure of our Griggs, a cat harness. Cat harness? Indeed. Like humans ride horses, Griggs ride cats. Go to that crypt and recover the harness, then return to me. Where is the harness? In their chapel, which resembles a miniature sculpture of a saint, like the ones they place at crossroads. How do you know this? I could say I read it in some chicken entrails, but the truth is more trite. A certain Grig has fallen in love with me. He informs me of happenings in the area. Are you kidding? No matter. Thanks. Yes? I'd like to rent a room. Sure.
Creature looking like a fish. They say the crypt in the fields is home to a big. Any room? Bring proof. The summit. I've seen enough proof. You're eight hundred. I'm here. What do you? Five. How vile! Here's.
the Griggs treasure. Now take the harness to the chapel of our Griggs. It stands just by the bridge, a small red santon. Return the following day to see if the Griggs accepted the gift. How will I know they did? In its place, they will leave you a gift of value, symbolizing friendship or joy. If Harn keeps this gift with him, the Griggs won't trouble him. Take care. What do you want? Did you... About the Devourer's Teeth? I then I'm off to hunt... I await your... Any work? A creature looking. They any room? Bring proof. I killed the fish. Dear gods, what is it? Take your 800 orange and remove that nasty thing. Farewell. Greeks are a nuisance. Only bring trouble. Monster slayers always find a climate here. I'm impressed. They won't bother you while you wear this four-leaf clover. Perhaps I can finish the bridge before the first snowfall. Your reward. I prefer gold. 400 orange. Thank you.
You could say that. All my goods contain finest flour and a secret ingredient from a grateful nymph. I need something. How may I help? I've got twenty orans for five. Bread is five orans a loaf, and five loaves will be twenty-five orans. You know what? Of course! Witches are like sorcerers, but worse. Worse? Yeah, their balls are wilted. Hmm. I'll leave. Got one in the family? Ooh, bad luck. How may I... Have any other secrets? Sadly, though I know one recipe I haven't been able to try. What's that? Can't say. I would need white honey, though I know not what that is. Farewell.
about bread. I'm pleased we didn't miss... Here, five loaves. I thank you. Moments like these make me think we can end this spiral of hatred and accept each other as we are. Good you. Farewell. Yeah. Farewell. When I behold you. I'm here about. Do you have the job? Not yet. I see. When will this end? Mysterious Witcher and Outcast. I finally found him. I don't like this. What do you want, Witcher? I've been looking for you, Berengar, for some time. I have some questions. You mean you're not looking for that legendary suit of armor? Well, you'll have to wait, because a wraith and some brookside will be here any minute. You think you can handle them? Think I can't? <laughs> Fine. Play tough. As that old stooge Vesemir used to say, let's fight and see. I can hear them coming. Get ready. I've been ready since childhood. Those bastards at Kaer Morhen saw to that. Die! <gasps> style, but not perfect. During a half pirouette, you leave your groin unprotected. I don't think so. I'll demonstrate when we get out of here. 
I don't intend to discuss swordplay. What do you know about Salamandra? <laughs> Straight to the point. Know why I'm laughing, Geralt? No. I'm laughing at you. So, witchily, fast, deadly, and sure of yourself. With your unwavering sense of what's right. Think you're better than me? I don't know, but I don't want to fight you. <laughs> oh, that's right. The code forbids it. Watch it. Here they come again. That was easy enough. Berengar, I'm not about to get killed by a few Bruxae, if that's what you were hoping for. Let's talk. Who said I wanted to talk? You gonna force me? I hadn't intended to. I was thinking. That since we're both witchers, somehow we'd come to an agreement? To me, you're no better than that scoundrel the Professor. You're just a bigger hypocrite. So you worked with Salamandra after all? I never said that. Shit. Looks like we're done here. Can we talk? Fine, but not here. Let's go outside. Sit by my fire. Finally.
All right, what's so urgent? I'd best start at the beginning. What's your connection to Salamandra? What the hell? It's a simple story. They found me some time ago, and the professor made me an offer I couldn't refuse. You know the kind. Help us, or we'll feed you your balls. I did what I had to do. It's funny. They remind me of Witchers. Never had a choice, with them or you. The Witchers made me a mutant. The Professor made me a criminal. An outcast, twice over. I escaped as soon as I could. They got nothing out of me. I didn't sell anyone out. And then I came here. I heard you're attempting to resolve the conflict between humans and the Vodianoi. What? Did they send you here to dissolve my contract? Fine by me. Take it. What contract? The one negotiating a peace between humans and the Vodianoi. Both sides came to me. I have no intention of pursuing it, and the job will fit your sandy legend perfectly. Do I sense envy? Don't flatter yourself. I have only contempt for people like you. Don't digress. My take? Call one of the two sides, and the rest will fall into place. You mentioned a suit of armor? You don't know the legend? I thought every little witcher had heard it. Tell me. The legend, as legends do, tells of a great warrior. It's more boring than Dandelion's ballad about you, which is hardly possible. But it turns out our hero employed witcher's fighting techniques while wearing armor. Was he a witcher? Who knows? Sounds interesting. They called him Raven. He had connections to gnome inventors with superior technical knowledge. In their secret workshops beneath Mount Carbon, they created a suit of armor both durable and light. Perfect for a witcher. A legendary suit of armor. I should do some treasure hunting. Good luck. I suspect Raven was buried in it, and I have long scoured cemeteries in hopes of finding it. Know anyone who could tell me more about the armor? The local blacksmith is an inventor and knows the legend. You could also try the elven handyman. I'll do that. Yeah. Know where I can find the friendly Vodian priest? By the Lady of the Lake's altar on the shore. Sometimes the dragon worshippers drive him away, so wait for him. If it's not beneath you. I see. Yeah. You mentioned an imperfection in my defense. Yes. You leave your groin open when you do a half spin. A beginner would notice. I even know why. Care to tell me? To do a half spin correctly, you need to have both legs in working order. One of yours was crushed once. Possibly. So it goes. Live by the sword, die by the sword. Farewell. Yes? I'm looking for information on Raven's armor. The legendary Witcher's armor. It has unique magical qualities. I'm listening. It was made in the gnomes' workshops, but finished by elves. The songmaster, Tayan Sao, took an interest in Raven's armor and worked for twelve days straight. Each movement of his chisel accompanied by a song of power. Legend says that in battle, the armor sang for Raven a song of victory, adding to his confidence and calming him. A beautiful story. Do you know if any records of these songs remain? I would look in crypts if I were you. Find the tomb of the elven songmaster. Objects belonging to him in life must lie in or near his sarcophagus. Farewell. When will this end?
farewell. Should I? Alvin admires you. Yes? Berenger mentioned you know the legend of Raven. I know nothing about the legend. I'm more interested in technology. That armor was a breakthrough in armor design, made possible by advances in metallurgy and smelting. Very interesting. About the armor. I can tell you about its qualities. Good, but remember I know little about metallurgy or smithery. Three elements remain of Raven's armor. A spalder, a rear brace, and a gauntlet. The highest quality iron ores and state-of-the-art technologies were used in its making, not some useless Timerian smelting pots. The gnomes surpass us technologically by an age. Beneath Mount Carbon, they have blast furnaces and quenching tanks, equipment beyond our reach. Can you tell me about the armor? As you wish. The technologies I mention allow for the production of steel both hard and flexible, essentially indestructible. As I said, only parts of the armor remain. To recreate the entire suit, you must find replacement material and someone to assemble the parts. Any suggestions? Search crypts where great knights were interred. I heard the counts of the Reuter dynasty wore similar armor. Pieces of that should be reforgeable.
Come from afar, see no signs of the wedding. How much longer? Geralt? I'm here about the. I'll buy any bus. I'll come and s hurry. I've taken Beringer's job. Decided to handle this problem myself. Listen, I'm in the middle of planning my wedding. You have no idea how much time it takes. Come back later. Get up. Farewell.